Did you know that the biggest obstacle to your personal growth isn't the world around you, but the comfort zone you've built for yourself? If you want to unlock your true potential and achieve more in life, you need to do this. Step outside of your comfort zone and face the silent battles you're waging within. It's not easy, but it's necessary. The best way to grow isn't by playing it safe, but by confronting your doubts, embracing your vulnerabilities, and pushing through challenges you thought were impossible. Avoid this mistake, sitting back and letting the comfort of routine hold you back. Don't believe this myth that success comes from having it all figured out and living a perfect life. Real growth happens when you embrace the messiness, the discomfort and the unknown. And that's exactly what we're going to dive into today. So if you're ready to confront those inner battles, step out of your comfort zone and begin the journey toward true transformation, keep watching. Number one, the silent battles. You're waging. There are moments in life when everything feels right, when the sun shines just a bit brighter and the world seems like it's in perfect harmony with you. You're surrounded by friends, you've got a job that pays the bills, and maybe even a supportive family. In these moments, it's easy to forget the internal battles we all fight. You might feel like you're in control, on top of things, living a life that looks great on the surface. But beneath it all, there's a storm quietly brewing. These are the silent battles we wage every single day, the ones nobody sees, but that shape our lives in ways we often don't realize. We all fight them, whether we like to admit it or not. Some battles are about our careers, striving for that promotion, wondering if we'll ever reach the next level. Others are about relationships, the anxiety about whether you're doing enough or whether those around you are truly happy. And then there's the battle within yourself, the internal struggles that happen every day, the voice in your head telling you you're not good enough, not fast enough, not smart enough. It's that constant push and pull between wanting to succeed and fearing failure, between desiring peace and feeling overwhelmed by the chaos. At some point, we've all wrestled with self-doubt. We've all had moments where we wonder if we're doing the right thing or if we're just drifting aimlessly. It might feel like you're constantly running, but never getting ahead. And it's during those quiet moments, when everyone else is distracted, that the true weight of these battles hits hardest. You're alone with your thoughts, wondering if anyone else feels this way, wondering if it's just you. But I assure you, it's not just you. You're not alone in this. Think back to when you were a teenager, or even younger, when life seemed simpler, when the world felt like it had fewer rules. Remember how you used to dream big, think nothing could hold you back. That was a time when you didn't have all the responsibilities weighing you down, a time when you believed that anything was possible. But now, as an adult, those same dreams seem harder to grasp. The weight of life, the pressure to be perfect, the constant comparison to others, it changes everything, and sometimes those silent battles start to feel overwhelming, don't they? But here's where it gets interesting, these silent battles. They shape who we are in ways that are often hidden at first. Number two, the whispers of self-doubt. Have you ever had one of those moments where everything seems like it's going perfectly, and then, out of nowhere, a small voice in your head starts whispering doubts? Maybe it's right before a big presentation, or just before a critical conversation at work, or even when you're about to tell someone how you truly feel. That voice starts quietly, almost imperceptibly, but over time it grows louder, feeding you thoughts like, what if they don't like me? What if I fail? What if I'm not good enough? This is self-doubt at its finest, and we all have it. It doesn't matter how confident you appear on the outside. Everyone has these whispers of uncertainty, and they can make even the most self-assured person question everything. 
when you're in the middle of a task, in the thick of life, you often don't notice how much that voice is holding you back. You might even feel successful on the outside, but deep down, you're questioning yourself. You might have grown up hearing you can do anything, but no one ever taught you how to silence that voice of doubt. And that voice can be crippling. It's the difference between taking a leap of faith and holding back. It's the difference between speaking your truth and staying silent. It's the difference between taking risks and playing it safe. And for many, it's the invisible wall that keeps them from reaching their true potential. Take a moment to think about your life. Can you remember the times when self-doubt almost stopped you from doing something you really wanted? Maybe you wanted to apply for a new job, ask someone out on a date, or finally chase that dream you've had for years. But then, that whisper crept in, and suddenly, you were paralyzed. You couldn't bring yourself to take the next step. That's the power of self-doubt. It can freeze you in your tracks, even when you know, deep down, you're capable of so much more. When I think back on my own life, I remember how self-doubt affected me in ways I never even realized until much later. There were moments where I had all the potential in the world, yet I was too afraid to reach for it. I've turned down opportunities because I was worried that I wasn't good enough. I've stayed quiet when I should have spoken up, all because I didn't want to risk rejection or failure. It wasn't until I started reflecting on these moments that I realized how often self-doubt had kept me from living authentically, from truly going after what I wanted in life. But here's the twist. Self-doubt is not something that disappears overnight. It's a part of us, part of the human condition. And the more we resist it, the more powerful it becomes. So instead of trying to eliminate self-doubt completely, what if we learned to coexist with it? What if we allowed ourselves to feel the doubt, acknowledge it, but not let it control us? Because let's be real, that voice will never fully disappear. But if we can learn to recognize it for what it is, just a passing thought, not a reflection of our true ability, we can begin to make better choices, to take risks, and to embrace our potential. Number three, your future plans. There's something incredibly exciting about the idea of the future, right? When you think about what's ahead of you, all those possibilities seem endless. The future is like an open road stretching out before you, full of promise, hope, and the chance to create your own destiny. You've got goals, dreams, aspirations, the things that keep you going every day. Maybe you want to advance in your career, travel the world, or even write that novel you've always dreamed about. The future is a blank slate, ready for you to shape however you see fit. But as much as the future holds excitement, there's also a sense of fear that often accompanies those plans. After all, with every goal comes the weight of responsibility. When you set those goals, you're also confronting the fear of what happens if they don't come to fruition. What happens if you put everything into something and it doesn't work out? The fear of failure can be paralyzing, especially when you know how much it means to you. But it's also in these very moments of fear and uncertainty that we often find the greatest growth. Because the truth is, the future doesn't come with guarantees. We don't know exactly how things will unfold. All we have is the power to take the first step, to show up every day, and to trust that the journey will lead us where we need to go. Reflecting on my own life, I can see the times when I've allowed fear to hold me back from moving forward with my plans. I can remember the hesitation before launching into something new, wondering if I was ready, wondering if I could truly make it work. But over time, I realized that the biggest regret isn't the failure, it's the not trying. It's the staying stuck, never moving forward, because we're afraid of what might happen. The key to overcoming that fear is not to eliminate it, but to acknowledge it, accept it, and keep moving regardless. As you sit here, thinking about your own future plans, what are you afraid of? 
What's holding you back from taking that first step? The future may be uncertain, but that's where the magic happens. The very uncertainty that makes us anxious is also what makes life worth living. It's what pushes us to grow, to innovate, to become more than we ever thought we could be. Your future is not set in stone. It's malleable, fluid, and waiting for you to mold it into something amazing. So what's the next step you're going to take? What's the plan, and how are you going to make it happen? The future might seem far away, but the reality is it's already here, right in front of you, just waiting for you to start building it. Number 4. The Temptation of Excessive Comfort We all have a natural craving for comfort. It's ingrained in us, almost instinctively, seeking warmth, safety, and a sense of ease. It feels good, doesn't it? Imagine this, you're lounging on a soft sofa, wrapped in your favorite blanket, sipping a hot drink, and the world outside seems distant and irrelevant. In these moments, it's easy to forget that life outside the comfort zone is often where growth happens. But what happens when we begin to seek comfort at the cost of progress? We live in a world where everything is designed to make our lives easier. From fast food and instant communication to technologies that reduce our workload, we've created a society that caters to convenience. And in this pursuit of comfort, we might be unknowingly sabotaging our own personal growth. Comfort is addictive. It's like the warm, soft glow of a fire that beckons you to stay, Yet we often fail to realize that sitting too close to the fire can lead to burns, stunted growth, and stagnation. In your own life, you might notice a tendency to choose the path of least resistance. You might prefer to stay in a job that offers security, but doesn't challenge you. You might avoid tough conversations or difficult situations because they disrupt the peaceful, comfortable routine you've built. But in doing so, you're sacrificing progress for the illusion of safety. You've probably experienced moments when the desire to stay comfortable has held you back. Perhaps you hesitated to apply for that job because it felt risky, or rejected an opportunity to travel because of the unknowns. The temptation of staying in your comfort zone is real, and it's a battle that you wage in your mind every day. It's like a voice in your head that tells you, stay where it's easy, don't push yourself, and in the moment, it feels right, doesn't it? It feels natural to avoid discomfort. But in avoiding discomfort, we avoid the very things that build resilience, confidence and strength. Let's take a step back and think about the times when you've grown the most in your life. I bet those times didn't come when everything was easy. They came during moments of challenge, moments when you were pushed beyond your limits. Remember the time you learned to stand up for yourself or when you faced a failure and had to rebuild? Those are the moments that shape your character, not the times when you settled into comfort. So, how do you overcome the temptation of excessive comfort? It starts with recognizing the allure of comfort for what it is a trap. Comfort is not bad in itself. It's necessary for rest and recovery. But if comfort becomes your only goal, it can be the thief of growth, robbing you of the experiences that expand your potential. Think about the long-term consequences of staying in the comfortable zone years passing without much change, never reaching the heights you could have achieved. It's time to embrace discomfort as a catalyst for growth. The next time you feel the urge to stay where things are easy, Challenge yourself to do something different. Take a risk. Speak up in a meeting. Apply for that job you think you're not qualified for. Travel somewhere you've never been before. These experiences, while uncomfortable at first, are where real growth happens. And when you look back on them, you'll realize that the discomfort you once feared was the very thing that propelled you forward. The path of least resistance might seem attractive in the short term, but it can often be the path to mediocrity. If you truly want to grow, you need to step outside the comfort zone 
and embrace the discomfort that will shape you into a stronger, more capable version of yourself. Number 5. Your Vulnerabilities and Weaknesses At some point, we all confront the things about ourselves that we'd rather ignore. Maybe it's an insecurity you've carried for years, a fear that holds you back, or a vulnerability that makes you feel exposed and fragile. No one likes to be reminded of their weaknesses, yet they are an unavoidable part of being human. Embracing them, however, is where real growth begins. In a world that celebrates strength and confidence, it's easy to forget that vulnerability is not a sign of weakness. It's actually a doorway to true strength. Think about it. When was the last time you allowed yourself to be truly vulnerable with someone? Maybe it was a deep conversation with a friend or a moment of honesty with yourself. It's uncomfortable, right? But in those moments of vulnerability, we often find that we connect more deeply with others and with ourselves. We stop pretending to be invincible and start embracing the raw, authentic parts of who we are. Consider your own vulnerabilities for a moment. Maybe you're afraid of failure, so you play it safe. Maybe you fear rejection, so you avoid taking chances in relationships. Perhaps you're insecure about your appearance, which keeps you from putting yourself out there or trying new things. These vulnerabilities don't make you weak, they make you human. The more you suppress or deny them, the more power they have over you. But when you confront them head on, you begin to reclaim control. Think back to times in your life when you felt weak or insecure. Remember how those moments shaped you. Often it's in the darkest moments that we discover our greatest strengths. Vulnerability opens up space for growth as it forces us to acknowledge areas where we need improvement. It's easy to keep pretending everything is okay, but by doing so, you prevent yourself from getting the help or making the changes that are necessary to grow. Now, let's take a deeper look at how to embrace these vulnerabilities. It starts with self-acceptance, understanding that no one is perfect and that imperfection is a part of being human. Recognizing your weaknesses allows you to work on them. For example, if you struggle with self-confidence, you can take small, actionable steps to build it, such as affirmations or stepping outside your comfort zone. If you fear failure, start by reframing how you view failure as a lesson, not a defeat. And remember, each time you face your vulnerabilities, you're building resilience. Each step you take toward overcoming fear, insecurity or weakness makes you stronger and more capable. In the long run, embracing your vulnerabilities allows you to develop a deeper sense of compassion for yourself and others. Instead of trying to hide or ignore your flaws, you learn to work with them and turn them into strengths. It's through this process of confronting your vulnerabilities that you unlock the path to personal growth. Number six, your personal grievances. We all carry grievances, those lingering feelings of resentment or frustration that over time fester in our hearts. Maybe it's a past wrong that was never fully addressed, a friend who betrayed you, or a parent who didn't give you the support you needed. These grievances can feel heavy, weighing you down and preventing you from moving forward. You may not realize it, but holding on to these unresolved feelings keeps you trapped in the past, unable to fully embrace the present. We all have stories of unfairness, of feeling mistreated or misunderstood. These grievances shape how we see the world and how we interact with others. But the longer we hold on to them, the more they poison our own peace of mind. It can feel justified to hold a grudge, to believe that someone wronged you and that they owe you something. But in doing so, we only continue to hurt ourselves, not the person who may have wronged us. Think about a grievance you've carried for a long time. Perhaps it's a family conflict that keeps resurfacing in your mind or a past betrayal by someone you trusted. Holding on to these grievances gives them power over you. Every time you revisit the pain, it steals your energy, distracts you from the present, 
and keeps you emotionally tied to the past. But the truth is, the only way to free yourself from the hold of these grievances is to let them go. Letting go of grievances doesn't mean excusing the wrongs done to you, it means releasing the hold they have on your life. It's about freeing yourself from the emotional burden so that you can move forward with peace and clarity. Think about the energy you waste, replaying old arguments or rehashing past mistakes. Imagine the freedom you could feel if you decided to release that emotional weight. Forgiveness is a key part of this process. Forgiving doesn't mean forgetting or condoning the wrongdoing. It's about releasing the negative emotions that keep you tied to the past. By forgiving, you regain control over your life and your emotions. It's not easy, and it might take time, but the moment you decide to let go of the grievance, you step into a new space of emotional freedom. Number seven, your personal achievements and successes. Take a moment to reflect on your achievements. The things you've accomplished, no matter how big or small, are a testament to your growth and perseverance. Think about the moments when you've succeeded, when you worked hard for something, overcame obstacles and reached your goal. Do you remember the sense of pride and satisfaction you felt in those moments? We often downplay our achievements. It's easy to focus on what we haven't accomplished or the mistakes we've made, but it's important to recognize and celebrate our successes. Each achievement, no matter how minor it may seem, is a stepping stone on the path to personal growth. It shows your ability to set a goal and follow through with determination and hard work. Consider the times in your life when you felt most proud of yourself. Maybe it was finishing a project, getting a promotion, or simply overcoming a personal challenge. These moments are proof that you are capable of achieving great things. Yet, it's easy to forget these accomplishments when we're faced with challenges. But when you look back at what you've achieved, you realize just how far you've come. By acknowledging your personal achievements, you not only validate your progress, but you also build confidence in your abilities. Success breeds more success, and the more you recognize your achievements, the more motivated you'll be to pursue future goals. Number 8. The Quiet Desires of Your Heart Deep inside you, there are desires that you may not even acknowledge. These are the dreams and aspirations that you keep hidden, sometimes even from yourself. Perhaps it's the desire to start your own business, write a book, travel the world, or simply to live a life that feels authentic to you. These desires are often drowned out by the noise of everyday life, societal expectations, or the pressure to conform. Yet they are the quiet whispers of your heart, calling you to live more fully, more deeply, and more authentically. You might not even recognize these desires at first, or you may dismiss them as unrealistic or too difficult to pursue. But when you listen closely, you can hear them, persistent, like a melody you can't ignore. These desires are a part of who you are, and they have the power to shape your future. It's easy to get distracted by external goals or expectations, but true fulfillment comes from listening to your heart and pursuing what truly matters to you. Perhaps, like many of us, you've pushed aside your desires because they seemed impractical or too big. Maybe you've told yourself, I'll focus on this later, or I'm too busy right now. But the truth is, if you keep pushing these desires down, they will only grow stronger and you'll feel unfulfilled. To truly live a fulfilling life, you need to acknowledge and honor the quiet desires of your heart. Number 9. The True Depth of Your Emotions Emotions are powerful forces that shape our lives, yet many of us spend our lives trying to suppress or avoid them. We're taught to keep it together, to stay strong. But what if embracing the full spectrum of our emotions is the key to truly understanding ourselves? We've all experienced the highs and lows of life, the moments of joy and moments of sorrow. 
But too often we categorize emotions as either good or bad, as things we should either chase or avoid. The truth is, every emotion has value, and each one offers a lesson about who we are and what we need. When you allow yourself to truly feel, whether it's joy, sadness, anger or fear, you begin to understand yourself at a deeper level. Emotions are like signals pointing you toward what matters most in your life. For instance, anger may be signaling that something is wrong or unfair, while joy can reveal what makes you feel alive. Instead of suppressing your emotions, try embracing them, feel them fully, and then take the time to reflect on what they're teaching you. Number 10. Your path to inner growth. Inner growth is a lifelong journey, a path that requires constant self-reflection, honesty, and a willingness to face the challenges within. It's not about being perfect or having all the answers, but about continually striving to become the best version of yourself. This journey is uniquely yours, and it's one that requires patience, persistence, and most importantly, self-compassion. To embark on this journey, you need to acknowledge the areas in your life where you still have room to grow. Maybe it's learning how to manage your emotions more effectively, building better relationships, or developing a deeper sense of purpose. Inner growth requires a commitment to learning, evolving, and pushing past the comfort zones that once held you back. Remember, growth doesn't happen overnight, and it's not always linear. There will be setbacks, challenges, and moments of doubt. But with each step you take toward greater self-awareness, you are building the foundation for a more fulfilling, authentic life. If you've made it this far, drop a hundred in the comments to show you're part of the rare few who have the discipline to stick with it and take their growth seriously. This isn't just about watching videos, it's about taking action and making real change in your life. You've already proven you're committed, now let's keep this momentum going. If you're truly serious about transforming your life and unlocking your full potential, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. By doing so, you're not just gaining knowledge, you're joining a community of like-minded individuals who are dedicated to personal growth. Let's continue this journey together and make sure that every step you take is a step towards becoming the best version of yourself.